Hold on. Okay, Maya wants to tell you something. Happy Saturday Pony Ride today. Pony Ride today. Hey, Charlotte is here. Lori and Barb are here together. Amanda, Linda, Lauren, Andrea, Amber, Laura, Jenny is here. Okay, Kai wants to say something too. He has a new backpack for school. All right, team, we are doing Dumbbell Hit today. Our first live of our fresh it's challenge. Okay, okay, it's okay. It's unspeakable. It is unspeakable. All right, so. All right, can everybody go with Daddy? Thank you. All right, guys, David is here. Holly is here. Kirsty, Carrie, Jessica, Mary Ellen is here. Our lead. Jennifer. Okay. <laughs> Happy Saturday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My apologies. Go, Kai. Go, go, go. Uh, to okay. Get your shoes. Get your shoes. Um, to. <laughs> My apologies because she was right in my microphone, which is right here. Julie is here. Andrea is here. Jean is here. Alyssa, Amy, hello, hello, everybody. Sorry if I missed you. Usually Kurt is scrolling through for me, but he was trying to contain children. Woo, it's been a morning. We have an exciting day. We're going to go ride a pony with our friend who has a pony. Uh, we have a new backpack, and um, the dog got off his leash this morning and was running all over the streets. But we are here, and I am ready to move with you. I am so excited to be in this space with you. Jessica is here. Woo, yeah, Charlotte, it is too much for them on a Saturday morning. All right, Chandu is here with the Brenzilla. Sandy is here, finally back on a live. Jane, yay! Jay, post second baby, he's one. First live postman. Jane, you've been working out, I know. I was gonna say, I thought it had been a little while. Welcome, welcome. Jessica is keeping warm. Who negative 36 in Montreal. I'm cold just thinking about it. All right, team L from Washington. Amanda Stacy is here from freezing Connecticut, zero degrees. Everybody is freezing today. Guess what? We are gonna get warm. This is Dumbbell Hit. It's gonna be a fun format. I'm excited about it. And again, first live of our Fresh Challenge. If you're just joining, you can jump in on the Fresh Challenge. If you can hang out for a few minutes at the end, at the end we'll do a quick Q&A and we'll talk about what's coming up. Natalie is here, heat wave, low 30s, Ooh, or low negative 30s, I don't know what that is. Bozzy from Trinidad, yes, all right team, let's go ahead and get moving our bodies. Ooh, let's get it done. Oh, Amanda's toddler is not excited about her working out. We'll see how it goes. Listen, do what you can, mama. All right, let's roll those shoulders. Getting it done today, dumbbell hit. So if you notice, if you got our monthly calendar, Usually we try to have a theme with our live workouts. Um, so last month, because it was the power challenge, we had a kettlebell power, a dumbbell power, body weight. This time, we are doing a different format every Saturday. So get excited about that. Let's do our eyes, Y's and T's, shoulder mobility. Open it out if you wanna have a little hinge with it. Take it up, I, Y, and T, Rebecca is here. Hello, hello. I, here we go. Y, can you start this one? T, and one more right through here. I, thank you. Woo. And T, let's take it right here. Let's go flat back down. Kurt doing all the things today. Getting my timer started, getting the video and the music going. Producing the whole broadcast and dealing with crying children. He's amazing. <laughs> Take it right here, roll those shoulders. Woo, breathe. Always busy on a Saturday morning here with you. Also, they are working on my new gym space. If you missed it, Laura is here. Woo, breathe, round it up. Let's take it right here, roll that hip and take it out. Mary Beth is twinning with me, yes. Please post a picture. I would love to see it. Amber is here. So a little roll of the hips into that side lunge. Woo! All right. So taking it here to here. In case you missed it, we are building a new studio in our backyard. It is very close to being finished. 
but they're working on it today. So if you hear some of that, whew, getting the stucco on, getting the drywall in, really excited about it. All right, team, let's take it right here. Reach it down, walk it back. Courtney feels a cold coming on. So sorry about that, Court. And then walk it up. If that's not right for you, you can just tap it back. Woo, take it slow. I'm glad that you are here, Court. Don't worry, just move your body. If that's not right, again, just do little tap backs or little lunges. But if you can, walk it all the way back, right through here. To really open up the hips. Let's get one more, right here. And then let's take a one big step to the side. If you need to keep it standing, keep it standing. You can drop it right here, through and up. Let's take it other side right through here. Reach, drop the knee, bring it up. And if you can, walk it back to that high plank, little forward and back. Getting the core warmed up, little down dog, stretch, back to center or child's pose. That works too. Breathe. Walk those feet in or walk your hands back, whatever feels good for you. All right, team, Tiffany and mom are here. Jill is here. Welcome everybody. Okay, so here's what we got today. It's gonna be a fun one. So dumbbell hit, you know we love a good hit. Here's what we got. We're gonna start back to basics for 40 seconds. So your basic movements, right? We got some squats, some lunges, some presses, some pulls. Woo! Amber has also had a crazy morning, just like me. Maybe in a different way, but I feel you. So, our back to basics is a true back to basics for 40 seconds. And then, we are gonna add a hit to that for 30 seconds. So the hit is gonna be adding on, making a compound movement. So for example, your first move is your basic squat. Our hit version is gonna be a squat and a press. Right after that, we take the last move, the add-on, the press, and we take that back to basics, all right? And then we'll add a hit version of that, and so forth. So our first circuit will be kind of long, and then they'll be short from there on out. But it's gonna be a fun one. I think you're gonna like it. <sighs> Go ahead and tap it out right here. Let's grab a heavy to medium set of dumbbells, starting with the basic squat. I'm gonna rack my dumbbells, but it's up to you. You can rack them, you can have them down by your side. Ooh, cold dumbbells today. Basic squat, drive those hips back, up through the heels, whatever you got. Then we get a little breather, then we get 30 seconds of a hit. So 40 seconds back to basics, starting now. Sit low. Dumbbells can be down by your side. You can put a chair behind you, you can take it to a sit squat. You can rack them, either here or here, if that's better for you. Another option. Right here. Another option is, of course, body weight. But either way, we're dropping low in that squat, driving up through your heels. Yes. Whoo! 10 seconds. Getting that energy up, getting those endorphins going. We got five, four, three, two, and one. All right, breathe for a second, give your hands a little break from the weight. Now we're taking a hit. So we're not jumping, we're not taking a high impact, we're gonna take it high intensity. So you're gonna squat low, press high. Try to get a little power with it. You can go one dumbbell or two, up to you, in three, two, one. 30 seconds, get low, get high. And up, use the power from your legs to drive up. You do not have to go the same pace as me. And again, if it's better for you, take it one dumbbell. Sheila's gonna do it tomorrow. Have a great weekend. 10 seconds, wherever you are, stay with me, because then we get a breather. You got it, five, four, three, two, and breathe. Whoo, right? Set those weights down. <laughs> Grab a sip of water, team. Whoo. All right, so tap it out right through here. After your hit, you have a little bit of a longer breather, right? Hit is, is designed that way. Remember, you want to need that rest. You wanna be pushing through. So by the time you get to your hit, 
you are needing it. All right, grab those weights. We got it right here. Join them up right here. We're gonna go press. We're gonna rotate them in so it's a little bit of an Arnold press. Let's get it done in three, two, one. 40 seconds. Press and wrap them in. Sometimes this is called the Arnold press. Uh, what I want you to think about, if you need to put one foot back for balance if you feel like you're arching, but wrap those elbows in, right? And here, down, and here. <laughs> they says squats are silent assassins, right? Well, you're gonna love this workout because everything builds, right? And breathe. Wrap them in. This is your back to basics. Three, two, one. And breathe, set them down. All right, team, 30 seconds. Hit, here's what we got. We're gonna do that press and lunge. Press and lunge, all right? You don't have to go super low. You can tap it back if that is better for you, but press and lunge. Now we got hit, we got back to basics, and then we retire that press, right? That's what's fun about this workout, is everything gets a lot of love. Three, two, one, 30 seconds hit. Press, rack them, lunge. Power up and press, and lunge. You can take them just like this, where you get a lot of power, more fluid motion, or step it up, press, rack, lunge. Finish your lunge, press, rack. Up to you. You can make it more fluid, really get that power. I know those arms are feeling it. I know mine are. Woo! Three, two, one. Catch your breath. Ha <laughs> ha Set them down. Stretch it back, all right? Presses are retired, but that's what we're looking at, where we keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, you're gonna like this format if you're not loving it already. All right, back to basics. We're gonna lunge right, up to you. You can take it reverse lunge, you can take it forward, you can take it stationary, but we're gonna lunge right. Then we're gonna add a curl, right? Then we're gonna lunge left, then we're gonna add a curl. So we're mixing up our format just a bit. Here we go, whoo, lunge. Bring it up right here. And up, core engaged. Yes, you can. Drive up and through. If you wanna add some movement, make it dynamic, reverse lunge. Drive it up through that heel. Get low with it. Look at that, we are already 10 minutes in. Faye is loving it, I love it. Whoo, Paula is here. 10 seconds with this lunge. Then we're gonna add a curl for some hit. Three, two, one. Breathe for a second. All right, here's what it looks like. You can curl on the way down. You can keep it fluid here, or lunge and curl if you're gonna reverse. Whatever feels better for you for 30 seconds. Nice and wide, lunge and curl, 30 seconds hit. Here we go. And up right here. Whoo, and burn. Ha, breathe. Right here, or again, if you want, and breathe. Whatever makes more sense. Sometimes a rhythm of something feels different for our bodies. So find the rhythm that's good for you. Three, two, one, and burn. Woo! All right, team, guess what? Now we got 40 seconds. Breathe for a second. There's that hit, right? Again, work at that level during that 30 second hit round where you really need the longer breather. That is how hit works. Really drive that heart rate up, then get a longer break, all right? Now we're back to that other lunge. Right here. Ha! You can take it reverse, you can take it stationary, but you get 40 seconds. Take it back. Drive it up right here. Or just stationary lunge. This works too. Ha! And breathe. Drive up through the heel. Either way. Shoulders back. Chest open and proud. Core engaged. Remember you can modify if you don't need to get as low. But if you can get low, slight hinge forward. You're really gonna activate those glutes. Yes. 
breathe. Ha. Three, two, one. All right, team. Now we got that lunge and curl. If you want, take it to a hammer curl, right? Let's get it done. Here we go. In three, two, one. Lunge and curl. Either together, stationary, or if you want, and up. Totally up to you. Hey, South Africa, I see you. Get that heart rate up. We got a breather coming. Ha! Woo! Yes, team. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo! Man, all right, team. That is it for that circuit. That was a long one. Stretch it out. Grab a quick sip of water. As I told you, your first one's gonna be your long one. The other ones are gonna build like that, but a little different. Woo! All right, team. So something a little heavy if you got it. We're gonna start with our bent over row. We got our row here. Then we're gonna take it to a pop back plank with the row, all right? Then we're gonna take it to a plank. Then we'll retire the row and we'll keep moving from there. All right, this is gonna be a quick one. So grab heavy weights if you got them. Remember that back is strong. So you generally get in that hinge, pull those elbows up, all right? Shake everything out. You're gonna go flat back. If you need to, stagger your feet. If you wanna put one knee up on a bench, a chair, whatever works for you. But we're going flat back row. Then we're gonna take it to that plank row. In three, core engage, two, flat back. Here we go, bring them up. Remember with that row, you're in a hinge position. Bring the palms towards your sides, right? Bring those dumbbells towards your hips, towards your rib cage. It's not this, right? I want you to stay low in that hinge. In fact, if you want, you can take it from here to the ground, right? Yes, you can. Woo! And breathe. Right here. Pull those shoulder blades in. <laughs> Jill said, say something for my seven-year-old son. I was wondering if that was one of your kiddos. Ha! Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, you guys know this. All right, we're gonna do a row. You're gonna pop it back. We're gonna do a row and a row. Pop it up. If that's not right for you, do the row. Lunge it back, lunge it back, just like that. 30 seconds, hit. Here we go. Row, pop it back or walk it back. Row and row, pop it back or walk it in. Strong in your back. Again, you can walk it back. You can walk it in. Up to you. If it's better for you to take it here, one dumbbell, and then the other, one hand on the ground. That works too. Right here, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Ah, there's that heart rate, right? Woo, Yoan, hi, buddy. Woo. All right, team, let's take it down in a plank, right? We're just gonna do a 40 second plank. I'm gonna give you a little bit of movement. I want you to take the weights out, but we're gonna work that back. All right, back to basics. Plank on your elbows, three, two, one. So start here. Check in with your body. Is everything nice and tight? Can you squeeze in those quads, those glutes, the lower body, little tuck of the pelvis? If you want a little extra, I want you to bring that arm to the back and then back to center. Squeeze. So you're still getting your back working, right? Right through there, but you're pulling back. If you need to, drop to those knees or take it to a standing plank. That works too, but squeeze in those back muscles, keeping everything working on the elbows, right? We're here and here. Breathe. Yes. Three. Two, one, stretch it back. Yes, team. All right, so we're gonna keep that pull 
and pull, we're gonna climb her, right? For four. Pull, we're gonna drop, we're gonna come up to the hands, climb her. So we were down on our elbows, now we got 30 seconds, squeeze, squeeze, keep the back squeeze, climb her for four. Let's get it done for hit in three, two, one. Here we go, squeeze in the back, squeeze in the back, climb her, four, three, two. If you're on your knees, squeeze, squeeze, tap back or bird dog. Yes, you can. Make that climber strong towards the chest. Hup, 10 seconds to go. Yes, yes. Three, two, one, stretch it back. All right, team, that was your short one. All right, bring it up. Keep with those heavy dumbbells. We got a really short one now. We just got a back to basics and a hit. We're gonna go with our deadlift for 40. Then we're gonna take it to a skier swing or a dumbbell swing. Look at that clock moving so fast, team. Woo. All right, so deadlift, grab those weights. Remember this, it's your hinge. So, shoulders pull back, slight bend in the knees, weights right down the front, and then bring it up. Are you with me? Let's do it. Three, two, one. It's a hinge. Up and squeeze. Remember with that hinge, my new favorite cue that Angela and the athletic club gave me was as if you're trying to shut the car door with your booty, right? So that way you're driving those hips to the back instead of what our body sometimes wants to do is go into that squat. There is a slight bend in the knees, but it's a hinge, not a squat. 10 seconds. Woo. Lisa's joining late, gonna do it later. She's working, that's okay. Three, two, one. Set those weights down. All right, you can keep just that. If you've never done a swing or the swing is not right for you, keep that deadlift. Otherwise, ski your swing with your dumbbells or one heavy dumbbell in the center or a kettlebell if you wanna jump it in. But we got 30 seconds. This is our whole circuit on this one is just your deadlift and your swing. Let's get it done. Hinge it here, 30. Hike it, three, two, power up. Let it drop. I actually like to have to do a skier when I do my 15s because it makes it more challenging. I can't use my arms, right? Right here, right here. Yes, team, remember you can always take it to one dumbbell or one kettlebell in the center, but let's get that heart pumping. And breathe. Ha. Three, two, one, and relax. Jessica says she's feeling it, but it is flying. I agree, right? I keep looking at the clock thinking, how did we get to 10 minutes left, team? Woo. All right, join me on the mat, catch your breath. Let's keep our core working. Medium to heavy dumbbells, what you got? Join me down here. We're gonna start with a chest press, right? We got a lot of upper body pull. We got some press too, but let's take it here. So chest press, feet up tabletop, feet up and bridge, whatever you need. This is your back to basics. Then we're gonna add some core for a little hit. All right, join me down here. Zip up that core in three, two, one. Press up strong. Wrap those elbows, right? So you're bringing them to the ground, a little bit of a 45 degree angle. Again, you can be in tabletop for a little bit of core, tilt that pelvis, or you can be in a bridge. Those glutes are probably really feeling it, but you can take it there, right? Press it up, drop it down, yes. And here, boom. Up and down right here. Oh, nice and strong because we're gonna get a short break before we add that hit. Boom. Three, two, one, rest them down. All right, team, so here is what we got. Let's just go regular bicycle. Chest press and bicycle, 30 seconds. Coordinate that movement. If you're not doing the bicycle, take it to a bridge. Three, two, one, here we go. Press and bicycle. One of my favorite combos, just because easy to put together, as in you're flat on your back, right? If 
Do you have a bench? I know I don't do workouts with benches. This is not a lot of people have them, but if you have one, that makes this even more challenging. So always fun to add a bench in. We got five seconds. Breathe. Three, two, one, drop them down. All right, guys, we're gonna stay here for a little bit of core. Watch me here. We got that bicycle, bicycle, then I'm gonna have you roll it up slowly down. If the roll up is not right for you, bicycle, bicycle, bridge. All right, but let's get it done. We're gonna take this, whoo, breathe. This is our back to basics. So really think, nice, strong core. Three, two, one. Bicycle for two, roll it up. Slowly on your way down. If that's not right for you, you can do slow bicycle and you can just do a little half crunch or just the legs. If you're modifying, you can do bridge, knee, and knee. That works too. Whatever you got, team. Bridge, knee, core is still working here. Yes. Bicycle. So we took the press out, we kept the bicycle. Breathe. And up. Ha. Second. Want a lot of core here, you can do it. Hang. Yes, three. One, stretch it out. All right, team, so we're gonna keep that roll up, but I'm gonna give you options. If you can, one heavy dumbbell at the top. Watch me here, I'm gonna give you a couple options. We're gonna go triceps over the head. Slowly roll it down. You can do a little pullover if you want. If that is not right for you, you can just stay up top and just do triceps. It's 30 seconds, hit one dumbbell or two, depending on you. Here we go. So we're keeping the roll up, or you can go, for you, you can also just do a bridge and try right through here. But if you can, roll it up, triceps, slowly down. Roll it up, triceps. Yes, team, elbows in. I know, I'm feeling it too. Core and more. Let's get those tries working at the top. And burn. Whoo! Three, two, one. On your feet, team. We're gonna keep this going, so get excited. But let's just go right into ha. Whew, triceps with plie. So if you can, toes out. Whoo! Faye's just gonna take a nap. Triceps and plie, 40 seconds. This is our back to basics. I know it's gonna feel like a hit, but look at that clock. We are almost done. 40 seconds, triceps and plie. We are so close. Here we go. Three, two, one. Triceps and plie. So elbows in. It's likely your tries are really feeling it. From, whoo, breathe. That, ha, huh. roll up. So feel free to have one dumbbell. If you need to split them up, you can go here. Plie, press, tries. But if you can, here to here right now. Ha. 15 seconds, strong core, strong legs. Certainly burning arms. Becky starting from the beginning. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. This is it, team, set those weights to the side. <laughs> Arms right, last hit. Maybe we'll have time for a bonus move, but last hit. We're gonna go plie, side knee, side knee. If you wanna add a jump to any of you, it, you can. 30 seconds, I want you to get low on the plie, make those legs burn, high knees, in three, two, one. Here, here, ha. I really want that leg burn. So you can add that little hop at the top. You can take it slower. You can keep it low impact, up to you. But let's get those legs working. Let's get, can you still feel your arms? Cause I am, even without the weights, cause they're tired. And of course, core, core, 
Yes. Three, two, one. Whoo, water team. I know how fast did that go, <laughs> right? Whoo. All right, team. Okay, so I think we still got time for a bonus move. I don't know. What do you think? Yes, yes, we do. Let's catch our breath. Tap it out right here. Yes. All right, we're gonna take it to a curtsy, okay? We're gonna, with those weights, curtsy and curl. Yes, you can. And breathe. Side lunge, press. Side lunge, press. All right? Super simple. We're getting a, a push and a pull with our upper body. We're getting some lower body. We're gonna keep our heart pumping, all right? One minute to go. Curtsy curl, curtsy curl, side lunge press, side lunge press. Here we go. Curtsy and curl, curtsy and curl, side lunge and press. Woo, burn, down and up. Yes, you can. Woo, I love a good curtsy too, Amber, I know. Who doesn't? Don't answer that. Breathe right here. Take your time. Two bonus moves. No, Faye, this is it. I promise. Whoo. Down. Or are you saying this is two and one? Maybe. Yeah. Breathe. We are so close. And that workout went so fast, right? Oh no, not a squat. It's a side lunge. That was my brain being like, I want to go into the side lunge. Curl. Yes, you can. 10 seconds. Can you get the side lunge? And press. Side lunge. And press. Oh, man. Whoo. Carefully set those weights to the side. <sighs> Whoo. Samantha, time to start this workout after a day at the zoo. That sounds fun. Get ready, girl. Get ready. You're going to like it. <sighs> Whose heart rate is up there? I know mine is. That is what I'm talking about, hit. Listen team, we didn't do any traditional hit, right? We didn't do any jumping jacks or burpees. Maybe we did a pop back, maybe we did a little jump on those knees, but we mostly got our hit, our high intensity intervals by compound movements, right? That's why it is always my goal to show you that you do not have to be jumping or running or getting high impact to get high intensity. You know I love jumping, you know I love a good high impact, but not required to really get that endurance, that stamina, that heart rate up, all of those good things. Let's get a little whoo stretch here. Don't worry, Barrel, saying I can't squat all the way down. That's okay, you do you. Listen, if I haven't said it yet, be where you are today is my motto. You do you, this is your workout. As long as you're moving and you're doing things safely and effectively, you do not have to get all the way down. You can get there. I would work on it with a chair behind you because that can help increase that mobility. It's probably not strength, it's probably just mobility. A lot of us get really tight. So keep working on it. Hand on the wall if you have a wall or fingertips to the back, really open up that shoulder. Tilt that hip forward. If you're able, get a little quad stretch. If that's not right for you, drop it down right here. Whoo! Yes, team. <sighs> I'm feeling it. I don't know about you. Whew. Other side, almost made it on time. Jill, great question. If you can hang out, I'm gonna talk about it. Is it too, is it bad if your heart rate goes above your maximum? We're gonna talk about what that is. Um, short answer is no, as long as you don't stay there for too long and then as long as you're feeling okay. Jill, you're very consistent with working out. You're in good shape, so I wouldn't stress about it, but listen to your body. Whew. All right, team, ha, shake it out. We're gonna hang out and chat for a few minutes. Kurt's gonna bring me the computer. I will see what questions you have. We'll talk about what's coming up. And of course, you can do some more stretching during this talk as well. Let's get one big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your dumbbell hit workout. Great job, everybody. Whew. Jenny, that peach is on fire. Yes, good 
work. Jenny, time to go get in the sauna, right? <laughs> Little BAC inside joke because Jenny is in our BAC. Yes, Adrian, great workout. Toddler slept through it. Amazing. Mm. Charity loved this format. I'm so glad, you guys. So you have on your calendar, if you're following the fresh calendar, there is a mini band abs and booty coming up for you in a couple of, not this week, but the next week, I think. I'll have to look and see. But you have one that is in this, this same format, but I think we'll be adding more of it because it is really fun to build. It's almost like its own little pyramid stack, right? Squat, squat and press, press and lunge, lunge and curl, right? Where you add something in, take it away. You don't realize like that first set, we have three sets in a row of that press, but because we did compound, we did back to basics, we did compound, you don't really notice it, right? So um, we're gonna be adding more of that. So, all right, team, hang out if you can. We're gonna chat. So um, Joe was asking about getting your heart rate up. So maximum heart rate, so max heart rate, the, the simple formula, there are some other ways that we get to maximum and what we call your target heart rate, THR, um, which is usually somewhere around 60 to 80% or 50 to 70% depending on, um, depending on what uh, your goals are and where you are in your journey. But the short way to figure out your maximum heart rate, the simple formula, is 220 minus your age. So let's say I'm 40, I'm not, I'm 41, but 220 minus 40, just for the simple math, my maximum heart rate would be 180, right? So 180, and then we use that maximum heart rate. We're gonna be talking about this a lot in the Body Fit Athletic Club, by the way. We've talked about it before, but we're, we have it on the schedule coming up. If you wanna learn more, join the Athletic Club. But it is not a big deal, and I don't really track my heart rate. I go by how I feel, but if I'm wearing my heart rate monitor, an Apple Watch, Fitbit, something like that, it's not a big deal if my heart rate gets up to 180, right? What would be a big deal is if my heart rate stayed at 180 and I wasn't feeling good, right? I was feeling really out of breath. I was feeling dizzy. I was feeling nauseous. I was feeling like I couldn't go on. But the reason we do that formula is not to say, oh, this is your maximum heart rate. You should never go above that. But we do that formula so then we can do the math and figure out your target heart rate. There are things called your heart rate zones. And again, your target heart rate is a percentage of your maximum heart rate. So don't let that word maximum heart rate scare you and think, oh my gosh, I should never get above that. All, the reason we do it is so we can do a percentage to have you in that target heart rate. On the same token, don't get too stressed about your target heart rate. If you're gonna go and say, okay, this is my maximum, now I'm gonna figure out 50 to 70% of that or 60 to 80, 55 to 75, Oh my gosh, I always have to be in my target heart rate. No, workouts are different, right? If we're doing steady state cardios, let's say you're a runner or a cyclist, that's gonna be different. Hit something like this. We expect your heart rate to get close to that maximum in those hit rounds. Or, you know, let's say you're doing high intensity cardio, right? So um, don't stress too much about it. The numbers are there for a reason, but as I always, always tell you, whether it's heart rate, whether it's counting calories, which I don't recommend that you do, calories in or calories out, um, any of those numbers, only use them if they are serving you in a positive way. If you're gonna get stressed out about any of those numbers, even if it's step count or um, even closing your rings, which I love things like that that get us motivated to move more, but if the numbers are stressing you out, making you feel bad, get rid of whatever you're using to count the numbers and focus on how you feel. So, okay, team, um, yes, Jenny's gonna go to the sauna later. <laughs> we did a whole live in the Body Fit Athletic Club about heat therapy, because there's a lot of promising research on cold therapies, but also heat therapies. You've probably heard about cold dips and um, infrared saunas or the sauna blankets. Um, and Jenny lives in Finland, which where everybody has a sauna in their house. Kind of jealous. All right, hey Mary Ellen. Oh, I'm so glad Charlotte that you are back at a Saturday evening live, right? Um, oh, whoever says I look under 30 years old, if you're talking about me, thank you, thank you. You're my new best friend, Cable. <laughs> Um, I am indeed 41. Uh, Amber, what's your secret? I'm gonna tell you, exercise. 
Listen, there is no secret. Um, I feel like my kids have aged me a thousand years. I try to take care of my skin. Um, I try to drink water, but uh, listen, you guys are only seeing me on on the screen when I'm made up and when I'm far away. And so don't, don't let that <laughs> make you think that, um, as we always say with social media, that everything is really what it seems. But what I would say is that there's a lot of research on how exercise keeps you young and keeps you feeling good, right? So remember that. That's why when you see people like, let's take Jane Fonda as a good example. She is almost 80 five years old and she has exercised her entire life. Yes, you're right, Charlotte. Age is just a number. So, but thank you to everybody who said I looked 30. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, so let's get back to some questions. I wanna make sure, Julie loved this format. Lots of opportunity to perfect moves through repetition, right? But it didn't necessarily feel like repetition in the way when we do a circuit workout that has you know, exercise A, B, and C, and you do them three circuits, the repetition kind of snuck up on you, right? So that's why we love it. Oh, good, I'm so glad. Yes, Mary Ellen, I'm so glad you were able to add in some resistance. Somebody was asking if we had um, a mini band live. Jessica was asking, we have had one or two in the past, but we should bring them back. I, what I wanna do is more where we add them in as something additional, where if you don't have them, which by the way, I recommend that everybody get them if it's within your budget. They are not very expensive in terms of equipment, but um, because they're great to travel with, Mary Ellen is traveling right now, she took hers with her, um, and they don't take up a lot of space. So check the links in the description. I already look at any of my mini band workouts, I have my link um, to my favorite ones, but really great tool to have but I am gonna start adding them in as a bonus in some workouts. If you have a mini band, you can add it. If you don't, don't worry about it. I just never want um, people to feel like if they don't have it, that they can't do the workout, right? I try to always say that. So, um, Amber needs a nap now. <laughs> Excellent. All right, and thank you. Yes, join the BAC. We talk about so many fun things and try to get a lot of good information to you. Jean is warmed up on this frigid day. Oh, you are up north and it is cold. I just saw you on the news. Not you, Jean, but you're part of the country up there. Uh, Linda, I always prefer, no, my knees prefer no jumping, so I always appreciate. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, Jean says, I love it when you give her a variety of options. Otherwise I get frustrated with my movements that don't match yours. Listen team, never try not to get frustrated. I know that it is, that's one of the reasons I give options, but also because everybody moves differently. I was just having this discussion. Um, we, we just launched body fit elite, which is if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching where you get that with me, and then you also get nutrition coaching and a, a full nutrition plan from Vivian, our body fit dietitian. I was just talking to one of our elite clients about, um, she's had some surgeries, she's had some things that have made it, you know, she moves differently. And it is about rephrasing. It's not even a modification. It's more just, oh, you move differently. So when you do this move, this looks different for you than it does for me. So just remember that. Um, it's not because you're weak. Like I was just saying uh, earlier that, you know, if you can't get low in a squat, chances are it's not strength. It's mobility and it's tightness that comes from things we do every day, like sit at our desks, sit at our computers, sit in a car. Um, so a lot of times it's finding out what works for you and your body and then working through that mobility and flexibility and movement patterns and finding um, what is best for you to get the most out of the exercise. So um, I give options for that reason, but also just so people don't get frustrated and feel like they have options, but also because we all move differently. So. Um, let's see. All right. Adrian has a question. I have dumbbells thinking of getting a kettlebell or two. What weight of kettlebells do you have? So I love the TRX kettlebells, what I love about them. And I also have a link in the description. If you use the code BodyFit by Amy, you can get a uh, 10% off is that they will tell you the kilograms and pounds. Obviously most people use kilograms here in the U S we use pounds. So I use this 17 pound, eight kilograms a lot. Um, for my heavier stuff, this one is 12 kilograms, 26.4. Um, I can swing with my 35. Here's what I would say. My standard answer is 
A lot of what I'm doing in my workouts, we use the kettlebell between two hands. So you can roughly think that if you double your, if you're using 10 pound dumbbells pretty regularly, then a 20 pound kettlebell or a little bit lower, maybe 15 or 17 pound kettlebell is a good option for, for you. Um, I, I like to recommend that you get something that is different than what you have for your dumbbells. So let's say you have a 15 pound, you have a set of 15 pound dumbbells, but you usually use your tens. Don't get a 15 pound kettlebell because you already have that 15 if you need it, get a 20 pound kettlebell. Does that make sense? So err on going a little heavier with your kettlebell. If it's within your budget and your space, um, it's a good idea to have more than one, like a heavy and a medium, but we do a lot of stuff with two hands. Usually the stuff we do with one hand, it's we're isolating those bigger muscles. And of course you always have the option to drop down to your dumbbells, but great question. Um, let's see, Amber, how do you know how low to go in a squat or a lunge? My right knee starts to hurt if I go low. Um, should I just keep it until I can get that full mobility squat? So here's what I would say. Generally speaking, the lower, the better. And here's why, because when knees start to hurt, if we're here in a squat, which again, if that's where you are, that works for you, that's okay. But where is all that weight and that pressure going? Right into my knees. And then my quads and hip flexors have to take all the weight. When I can get lower, look at this. It takes the pressure off the knees and it makes my hamstrings and my glutes have to kick in and do the work. Same thing with the lunge. If we're here, it's all down in that knee. But if we can get lower, it's more of that hamstring and glute. What I would say, Amber, that you can try is putting a little hinge in it. So sometimes we try to be straight up in a squat. If it helps your knee, if you get to that point where you feel it and you can hinge forward a little bit, don't worry about those knees going forward, that's okay. That might help. Same thing with the lunge. Sometimes people are like, oh, here I feel it. But if you shift your weight forward a little bit, you feel a little more of those glutes and hamstrings helping, that might help take the pressure off. So, but you can always modify. I have a video on the channel, on the YouTube channel, um, one of the YouTube shorts of modifications for lunges. But I would say play around with what feels good for you, but don't be afraid to shift your body position or bend your knees a little bit more forward to see if that helps. Um, and definitely work on that mobility. Whoo, I'm like winded guys just from talking so much. Um, yes, thank you, Charlotte says, great question. It's taken me two years, but I can squat with my bottom below the level of my knees now. Yes, Charlotte, right? Great example. And again, like a lot of that is just mobility and, and you've worked really hard on it. So, um, all right, team. Uh, <laughs> Julie, thanks. Not to keep this going, but I thought you were top 36. I'll take that. I'll take that. Thank you guys so much. Um, all right. Any other questions? Mary Ellen, thank you. How's the new studio coming? Um, I said this in the beginning that if you heard any work in the background, the guys are working on it today. They were working yesterday. So it is exciting that we we're seeing some movement on it. It is, uh, this new gym, this new studio that we're building is very, very close. Yet it feels so far away. Um, anybody who's done construction knows it's a long, frustrating process in a lot of ways, but they're working hard on it today, doing the stucco on the outside. And then we've got drywall delivered to do drywall on the inside. So we're so close, we're so close. I have no idea what that means as to when we um, are actually filming in it, but hopefully uh, as soon as next month, I'm hoping. Um, so thank you for asking, it's coming along. I will be sure to post some videos and post on my Instagram and post here so you can see the process um, and you'll be the first to get a tour. So, all right, everybody is freezing. All right, y'all stay warm, please. I know a lot of you really have those freezing cold temps. Stay warm, thank you for showing up. I'm sure it would have been easier to cuddle up on the couch under a blanket, but you were here, you did it. I love spending my Saturdays with you. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I hope you have a great week coming up. We've got week two of your fresh challenge. If you're not on the email list, sign up for it in the description here. Join us in the BAC. A lot of the questions we had, we're gonna be talking about in depth in the athletic club. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you soon.